is happening guys? I hope you all had a happy Christmas. I had an absolutely beautiful Christmas, can't go wrong. I was going to upload this video on Christmas, but I just enjoyed a bit of Christmas. It is massively foggy today, absolutely massively foggy. Not what you want sort of thing, but today we're going to be exploring a, an abandoned lake. Um, I haven't been to this lake in about 15 years sort of thing. Should be good. It's literally a mile in that direction somewhere. I was going to show you the tree line that we're going to be heading for, but you can't really see it in this weather nightmare. So let's do this guys, do a bit of pike fishing in this abandoned lake, let's do this. So <laughs> oh, guys we're on our way to this abandoned lake, it's literally about a mile in this direction, we're just going to walk down here. I'm a little bit paranoid about the power lines that are up there and the carbon fibre rod that's in my hand. There's some random dogs in the field next to me that's barking. <laughs> I hope they can't get out. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. These dogs get out, I'm... Please don't eat me. <laughs> Right guys, we're gonna walk to this place. So let's do this. Oh, these dogs are massive, man. Here we are guys, it's a bit of a mission, some crazy dogs trying to eat us, nightmare, thought I was going to get out, <laughs> know what you want, there's this lake, it is massively foggy today, it's in these woods somewhere, I well, literally have not been here in about 15 years, came here when I was about 10 with my uncle, I'm probably going to be now like I remember it. Muddy. See some traffic. And is out. Where are we going? I don't know where I'm going. Last time I came here it was like the middle of winter like it is today, but it was literally frozen over solid. And we had to tie like a brick to some string. Oopsie daisy. Try to tie like a brick to some string and smash the ice just so we could fish. To be fair, when I was that age, I didn't really fish much. I'd just probably mess about climbing trees and stuff, as you do. There's a sign saying private fishing. Luckily, we've got a license. Obviously this is a YDAA guys, you can see that, Court District Amalgamation of Anglers, I hope this is the right way. Oh my days, it's so foggy. Wow. I haven't been here in so long. It used to seem bigger when I used to come as a kid. Love it. I think somebody's fishing over there. Oh, well, not to bother them. We'll go this way. If you can get this way. Bit too crazy around here. Might have to go another way. I have to reverse. Farm 
bushes. Okay, what's happening? Can you get that way? Is there any fish left in here? I didn't think there was any fish in here. Are you piking? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do a bit of. I can't go wrong. Have you had any? No. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a bit foggy and that. Isn't it? How long have you been down here? Like? Um, no. Just today. Can't go wrong. So I've not been up here in about 15 years. I thought I'd come and see if there's any fish left in it. I did release a load of otters or something into it and or mink or something like that and the dead alt oh, fish. It's been a mink yeah, for yeah. 30, 40 years. No way, alright. <coughs> it used to be a good place to come fish this when I was a kid like. It still is. It's just nobody else does, so you're a bit stuck with you know, you're a bit restricted with swims unless you remember to bring a shovel and stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean, digging your bag out and that, yeah. yeah. Nightmare. See like the ones at that side they've all got reeds growing in front of them now. Right, right. Nightmare. But, uh, I've, yeah. I've been down once before and I didn't get a single run. But in the spring I had quite a few to lures. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do a bit of lure fishing today. Like, there used to be a lot of big carp in here. Yeah, they died off a while ago. Is it, yeah? Alright, oh, no way. We just leave. It, well, it's actually um, Church of England. Right, right. This one and Sand Hutton. Yeah, yeah. Church of England. No way, I didn't know that. So you're a bit restricted, that's the other problem, we're a bit restricted to what we can do. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. But, uh, about three years ago it was full of little rod and perch, about that big. Yeah. Where the fuck have they gone? Gone, yeah, <laughs> nightmare, innit? They just, but it's always been like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About five years ago there was a lot of flapping because there was a few dead bream down that end. Right. But it was spring and yeah. it had been warm and that's what happens with bream, you know, they were quite elderly fish. Right? Yeah, yeah. Is that what everybody was kicking off about, yeah? Well, they're all panicking without knowing what's going on. You know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, they've just finished spawning. This is this happens when they yeah. spawn, you get it all over the place. You find them floating down the ewes some years. You do, yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. See a lot of it. I have to say, I've never done well with lures in winter. Yeah, yeah. In all the years I've fished. <laughs> well, I'll give it a go anyway, you never know, do you? <laughs> but I, I walked, I remember about 10 years ago, walking around with three other lads, all using entirely different systems. Yeah. And just never saw a thing. Crazy, isn't it? It's a bit coloured as well today. The colour in it. Yeah, but at least there's some water in it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, a good foot shallower than that last time I was here. No oh, way. Uh, there was two becks flowing, one there and one in the other. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, is there an old windmill house or something around here? Like an old... Yeah, it's a pump house. It's yeah, just yeah. Over there. Yeah. From there. I remember it from when I was a kid, like. Mm. Love it. Yeah, it's from when it was a clay pit. Yeah, they used to get a lot of carpers back then, like. I remember them all. All you ever used to see. Love it. Yeah, because it was one of the few places around here with any car. Mm. That and Park, Park View used to be alright as well. Not too bad. That's gone a bit downhill. The carp and that. Yeah, I was there yesterday. I think it's because the car, it's like anywhere, the car got hammered. Yeah. And everybody sort of moved on because they started to struggle. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. somewhere else. Love it. I remember once when, like years ago, I must have only been about 15 or so, I stood on the bridge, you know, the little bridge that's over there, and was watching the calf swim under the bridge, it was like middle of summer, it was clear as anything, you know what I mean, I was watching it and the backs on them, there was like all in shoals as well, you know what I mean, about five or six, seven or eight of them, all with backs on them like that, massive fish, easy 20 pound plus. Oh, there was quite a few 20s in. Yeah. They were quite rare in here, but... Love it. 
Hope if this. you ever see any references in carp history to Southlands, this is Southlands. No, no way. Right. This was its most famous claim to fame is um, oh, what's his name Hutchinson. Who's the, is the honorary president now? Probably. Yeah, he uh, he used to carp fish in winter, which yeah. He needed cat enough to love the psychiatric hospital according to the rest of the carp anglers. Right. <laughs> and he started catching and when he put it in a book everybody started fishing for carp in winter. Right. Crazy. All they do it, isn't it? Yeah, so it is it's quite a famous water in its own way. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Uh, when I came here last time it was froze over solid. We had to tie a brick to a, a piece of rope and you know just create a bit of open water sort of thing. I like it when it's like that. Yeah, it was good for roach like back then, you know. Where yeah, but it can also be good for pike if you fish. You have to fish right to the edge of the ice. Yeah. Anywhere else you won't get a bite. You fish right to the edge of the ice. Oh, you do quite well with that. Right, right. Sand up. All these are the same, Sam Dutton Park View, they freeze with the greatest of ease. Yeah, yeah, definitely a uh, switch tree cover and that, and it can't can get no wind on water. No. I'm hoping that now they've chopped those willows down, that Park View might not freeze as badly. Yeah, yeah, they've, they've done a lot of work up there, haven't they, sort yeah, of thing, yeah. Might got, yeah, they, they haven't opened Peg 13 up. Which one's that? <laughs> you wouldn't know. It's just only because there's a 13 on the tree, I just noticed it yesterday. Right, <laughs> all right. It's to the left of the um, disabled swim. Right, as you go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's Have you, I used to do all right on uh, pike fishing. Do you know that little cut, the little bit that goes towards the stream, runs yeah. off into it? used to be all right in there. Oh, you could hammer pike out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I had a right there, there yesterday. No way. Um, Pulled out a two. Nice. And at least you uh, had him on. And then Trace failed. No way. Uh, nightmare. Might have just and been a big one. Well, I, I don't know. It's. It didn't feel like it unravelled because I twist them. And it, I've had one or two in the past unravel, and you can sort of feel it as you're bringing them in. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And I just wondered because. You know, you have to kneel the wire with the lighter. I wonder if I overheated it and mm, damaged it, maybe. But I, I always give them a really good pull like yeah, that, yeah. just to ensure it's all right. In. Yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, it's the first fail trace failure I've had in three years. No, oh, well, probably just a mishap then, wasn't it? I say there used to be so well. There probably still is some big pike in there. I remember once stood on end of one at. Was it round other side? Twenty five you know. came out a couple of weeks no, ago. No, uh, that'll have, that'll have been one I seen. I say I was stood on one at end. Of, um, do you know around completely other side where that little pond is? I was stood on one at platforms, right at the end of the platform, and I must have spooked one. And like its tail, do you know where? Obviously, it swells water up, sort of thing. Its tail sort of swelled there, and its head swelled there, and I was like, oh my god, that was a big fish, that you know what I mean? That I spooked. Nightmare, man. It like sort of scared me because I was stood right next to it, you know what I mean? I just saw a yeah. big swirl and I thought, wow, must have been a big one. Yeah, there's a friend of mine some years back was working at um, the labs up the road from there, right. Defra. Yeah. And um, he was every morning or afternoon or evening or what have you, he'd taken a load of chopped fish down and feeding him three or four swims. Never, yeah, yeah. And he did really well, but he couldn't, he couldn't catch a 20. Nightmare. And um, before he moved to the States, um, or, well, sort of near end of season, he was trying a float rod out down there. He uh -huh. just got himself. Yeah, uh yeah. -huh. And uh, Jav now got, because he's moved to the States. Can't go wrong. And he just tossed half a mackerel out as far as right into the middle just sat there and he's just, just before he was due he was packing in he'd be, 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 be <laughs> 21 pounder nice it's all that effort he says and you just yeah it yeah, yeah it's always same case in it with fishing you can try and try and then it's always there you don't nightmare well it's like the lad came down yesterday he was on about um some ponty fish and he 
little lad came down low fishing. He was hammering jacks out and they couldn't get a thing. Yeah, yeah. And he said, if you watched him, he says, all he, he, he was just, he had a couple of plugs and he, says, he was just hurling them out and winding them back in. No, he said, eh? We're twitching them and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing all says, techniques and that, yeah, yeah. And not once did any of us just wind one straight back in. He says, once we did that, we started picking fish up. Never. Crazy. We've got our little box here with all our lures and stuff in. Can't go wrong. Um, what lure shall we use? Where's that one gone? Oh, there it is. That one. I like this one. This is that one we caught the pike on last time in the last video. Beautiful. Um. I'm going to start off with guys is this little pike lure, mini pike lure, we'll probably switch over to the spinner a bit later on, but for now we're going to put this little jack pike lure on, can't go wrong, we've got about a two feet wire trace on there, need that wire trace, going to tie a loop, just a simple loop, a biggish loop so we can get the lure through it. Beautiful. What you not? Pull tight. Beautiful. And then just pass your one end through your hoop. Your lure back through. Pull tight. The best thing to do is get where it's done that, you want to get it to come over the top of the loop, like that, and then pull it tight. And that is literally one of the tightest knots that you can tie for this rig. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to try and nip that little bit off there. I don't have a pair of scissors. I have to use my teeth. Not the best idea with like 20 pound line. Beautiful stuff. There we are, guys. All set up. Easy as. One thing we're definitely going to need today, if we actually catch one pair of four snips, need these four snips. Get the hook out of its mouth. Beautiful stuff. We'll try some lures. Some more lures later on. Might put me a lure on. That's a good lure, that. Catch some nice pike on that lure. Beautiful stuff. Let's do some fishing, guys. Whenever that's... Just stuff out of trees falling or fish moving or what, but this looks like a nice little peg. Just throw this lure out. And pike have got really bony mouth, so if you do catch a pike, best thing to do is strike really hard and set that up the best you can. Can't go wrong. I'm really hoping all this fog disappears by the time we leave, because I want to get tight this peg, tight. Looks like a really snaggy lake. I want to get drawn out in a bit and just show you what is actually happening. What's actually this lake actually looks like. Beautiful. Hopefully we catch one guys, it's nice. It's literally the 27th of December today. Had an absolutely great Christmas. Can't go wrong. Oh, we're in tree already. Oh, we're off at branch, nightmare. Uh oh. This isn't going to go well. Ah, shit. Might be able to just hook it. 
Oh, we're so close. <laughs> what a great first cast. Not. We're not going to be able to get it to swing. God's sake. I just can't reach it. <laughs> what a nightmare. It's deep this lake as well so I can't go anywhere. What I'm going to have to do is try and pull it over there. lost this. What I can do, what I'm going to have to try to do guys is flip it over there really quick. To be fair that branch looks dead. Oh we got it! We got it, we got it. Beautiful, let's keep going. Underarm casts, underarm casts. Not into the tree. I can't believe how foggy it still is. It must be about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I was hoping that sun was just going to burn that bit of, bit of fog off. But no, not yet. This tree. Keep going. I was hoping for that sun to get out today, guys, just to shine on the lure a bit. Helps the pike see it. It's not really getting out, is it? Bridge. Seems deadly and old and rotten, but... This should be alright, this. Beautiful. Look at that, that's nice, that. It'll come off. Make sure there's no behind us. Nah, we're good. Allegedly. looks like such a pikey sort of swim we should definitely catch a pike in here today guys I think if I strike at a pike in here I'll fall in, it's slippy this We're going to have a few casts here guys, see what happens. Hopefully we catch a nice fish. If we do, we'll see you in a sec. Right guys, we've been fishing for a while now. We've changed lures up a couple of times. We've got our other lure on now, it's a spinner. We're going to try a bit of spinning. Sun's trying to get out. I wish it would just burn all this, this fog off. Flat calm as well, there ain't a breath of wind at all. This is literally quite tight around here, there's nowhere, nowhere I can really fish. I think we can cast here. Oof. That looks like a decent place to fish as well, but I just can't cast. Let's keep going. Even if I don't really catch any fish today, guys, I won't be that bothered. What is this? What is that? Oh, we're in here. 
Oh, this is dodgy, this, mate. Oh, this is rotten as well. Oh, God. Where are we going here? Don't know where I'm going right now. Where have we gone? What is this? We're off beaten track here. There we go. Go back in. I hope no one steals my stuff. See if we can actually cast. Deep. Oh, we can. It's happened, it's happened. See what's happened. There you go. Oh, there's people, they're gonna steal my stuff. We're gonna have to walk around there, guys. <coughs> Before they do, there's that fallen tree. Oh, some nice pegs here as well. There's the tree. Oh, they're over there as well, looking at my stuff. Like, ooh, I wonder who this is. Maybe we should take it. Fuck's sake. Please don't touch my stuff. Two old grannies. I'm watching you. Woman. So I'm gonna steal my stuff. I'm bewildered that there's even people here. I mean, it's miles away. Had to watch them though, you know what they're like. Got my drone over there and it ain't cheap. There we go, look, there's more gadgets that are gonna char our gear, look. Nightmare. These are definitely char at these. Should have brought my gear with me. <laughs> Fuck off. people. I like fishing, I've never known one about. What are they even doing here? Cast this at the side of your fucking head. Fucking bad. Oh, we've cast straight into the tree, guys. Take this lure off, guys. Unfortunately. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it come out, it's come out. We got it back, we've got it back. Did not expect that, guys. Wow, what have we brought back with us? Just a couple of leaves, what was it attached to?
Nightmare. We're going to carry on guys, I'm going to go over there and get my stuff because obviously there's people roaming about and I don't want it nicking. Nightmare, we'll have one more cast before we do the... Just going to shimmy it over there. No good. Right guys, let's keep going. I'm gonna go get my stuff and keep wandering. Beautiful stuff, what an absolutely beautiful lake guys. No good guys, on to the next location, let's do this. We're going to have a few more casts in here guys, probably the last spot we're going to try today. Can't go wrong, we've had an absolutely great day, it's been an adventure at least, you know what I mean, can't go wrong. If you haven't already guys, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're still trying to grow this channel, can't go wrong. Let's do some last casts, let's get ourselves on, let's do this. This is that same scenario as before. Oh, no. I can't reach it either. <laughs> I've lost the lure. <laughs> I'm the luckiest person alive to do that twice in one day and get away with it. Wow. Right, low lying cast. Well guys, no good today unfortunately, nightmare. I'm not too bothered though, it's been a nostalgic journey for me, can't go wrong. Absolutely love this place, I'm definitely going to come back and get some amazing drone footage when it's not as foggy, I was not expecting it to be foggy today whatsoever, or at least expected the fog to have disappeared or dissipated a little bit by now, but it's going to be adding for the rest of the day, nightmare. It's going to be getting dark soon, so I hope you liked today's episode guys, please head down below, hit that subscribe button. Still trying to grow this channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!